for no other reason but to serve you, dear Lord, to give you the praise and the glory. But first of all, dear Father, we would like to petition thy throne for forgiveness of sin. Yes. If any of us may have committed a sin against thy throne and. at this time, we ask that you wipe our slates clean. Yes. That this worship service rendered here today will be one well and pleasing in thy sight. Yes, sir. And Father God, we're just so thankful for the things that you've blessed us with. From our uh, earliest existence up until this present time. Yes. Father God, we're thankful for your darling son, Jesus, who came and died on Calvary on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Father God, we're just so thankful for the breath of life. Yes. Another day that we've never seen before. We come, Father, asking you for continued blessings upon the sick and the shut-in, yes. upon the bereaved families, mm -hmm. upon our youths, yes. upon our seniors, and upon, upon those that are faithful in the house of the Lord, mm -hmm. we ask that you continue to bless us according to thy will. Yes. yes. Father God, we ask that you strip our hearts, our minds, look down within us, and find those things which we all stand in need of, and bless us accordingly. Father God, we ask that you bless the one who will come before us shortly, 
and break unto us another portion of your heavenly divine word, mm -hmm. that we may be attentive to that word, that we may be able to use it in our everyday walk of life. Amen. And Father God, we ask that you bless each household that is represented here today. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bible, I just want to look at passage scripture for us this morning to get us in sync. I know we're in the, in the middle of a pandemic, but it has went down. But I want the church to know we still serve a God. He says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Right. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to go to Romans chapter 12 for a minute, verse 9 through uh, 14. And the Bible reads this way. Let love be without dissemination. For boy, that which is evil, cling to that which is good. Be kind, affectionate, one toward another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business, preferring in prayer, in prayer, fervent in prayer, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the saints, to the saints given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. With that being said, Brother London said to us this morning, if there's a way to get out, I want you to know it says the thought this morning. Let love show the way. Let love show us the way, how to call unrattles and try to get the Christians to recognize that it is something called love that can put a, light, a, a smile on your face and mind. It's something called love that influences us not to do wrong, but better to do right. And Paul wants us to let the Christians know it ain't about me, it ain't about you. He's telling the Christians in order to love God, to have his worship what it wanted to be, we got to please God. And the only way we please God, we got to learn how to love one another. Christians should know how well it is known, how the Bible teaches of how to love one another. There's in many instances in the Bible on how we should behave once we're with one another. But if we're not with one another, we ought to still behave as though God loves us. Amen. And so Paul says, let love be without dissemination. That is a thought that it, most of us would, would, would depend on. And that is, don't, 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 don't concede yourself with one thought or feeling or concern or pretend to think that you love me. And I know that you don't. So we got to understand that that love picks up on everything that we do. Because if it doesn't, then that means there's something wrong. Why I haven't had time to love my brothers and sisters. It's a way that we have to feel about ourselves because God loved us. The Bible says he loved us because he first, or we first loved him. And love is the main factor because it has in it a creality or understanding that the creator of God that he have, he gave us an opportunity to show more love toward one another in spite of what folk think. I got to love you no matter what. So let love show the way. Because it's the way that love has us to believe that there's another way that we can now show God that we care for our brother and we love the Lord. In order, in order to love the Lord, we got to uh, be, be able to understand that we got to at least uh, have some compassion for our sisters and brothers. So he goes on to say in verse uh, 10, he says, be kind, affectionate, one toward another, with brotherly love, honoring, preferring one another. In other words, just cause somebody walk by you and they don't tell you they love you, and don't you get upset. <laughs> just cause somebody feel that they don't have it in them to say I love you, don't get upset. But what you can do is show kindness. 
in a time where folk would not even consider me who you are. So show kindness anyhow. It was God that loved us. And if he loved us, then the best thing we can do is learn to love one another. Look at that. Look, look, look at Paul said, uh, not slothful in business, uh, 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 fervent in, sp in the spirit, serving the Lord. Fervent. That means just, 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 just going about how to love one another in spite of. See, it's one thing I'm learning, church. What thing we need the most right now? And that's some love. See, folks, we, no offense, church, but we, we, we learn how to hate each other. I, I, not, not hate each church, but we learn how to hate each other. That's easy. How much can you do if you love me? How much love can you show with it, with, with that understanding of how good God has been to you? Now you have turned the tides. Not about me and not about you. It's what you do when someone come to you with any problem they have. How you, how you figure it out? Do you send them away? Do you tell them I don't know? No, be kind to the person. Not only that, not only be kind, show them the way. God is not here to tell us we can't do it. We're here to tell God we love to do it. Is that all right? You see, because a lot of times in life we're, we're sliding through things and we're just looking at it in, in, in an over, over, over point of view. But I want you to go deep in your heart and recognize I didn't come here. Did I sit around with my sisters and brothers and say, listen, I didn't come here. Lord, how much? To say how much I don't like you. I came here to let you know how much I do. Look at Peter. If you had your Bible, go to First Peter chapter one for a minute, and uh, we we're gonna see if we can just show, let love show. And that means that we gotta we gotta put away some things, and then we gotta grab hold of some other things because love is is the is the main factor. And I'll get there in a minute, and then. Brother Lennon going to take my seat. We want you to understand that Peter says, in 1 Peter chapter 1, in verse, he says 19. He changes the subject. He says, but with the precious blood of Christ, as a lamb without blemish, without spots, whom verily was foredained before the, work, before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last days for you, who by him do believe in God that was raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and your hope might be in God. Seeing ye that ye purify your soul and, and, and obedience in the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love. Other brethren, seeing that your love one another with a pure heart fervently. Look at Peter talking behind Paul here. Paul, Peter said, fervently. That means we got to show affection. We got to have some action. We got to recognize that God is in the midst. And when we know God is in the midst, then we can act like God whenever we're going through something. Especially when it's something that's going on in your life that you can't fix. There's got to be something that God can do. And the only way he can do that is we got to learn to show love to God. And God then will know you showing love to your sisters and brothers. And look at John. John says it this way. John says, little children. 1 John chapter 3, verse 7 through 11. Uh, uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 7 through 11. Little children. Let no man deceive you. He that does righteous is righteous, even as he is righteous. And then John goes on and says, and listen here at verse 11. He says, for this is the message that he heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Who heard it from the beginning? John did. Where did he hear it from? Jesus God himself said. Jesus himself said. Y'all believe that? So if this is already created in the Bible, then how, wh why, is, why not that we can show it now in our uh, showing love one to another? Because the, the bond of love is extending from one aspect to the other. The love we ought to show, it ought to be created in us. 
that allows us to build on what God has given us. And that is, that's all we got right now is to show some love and some kindness one toward another. Because without it, we're going back to the, what was said at, at a time when we know about it. And that was, you know a story, but there were two brothers, you see. And one was Cain and one was Abel. And those two brothers supposed to have brotherly love toward them. But, but our Bible tells me that one of them brothers said, listen, I ain't thinking about you. Y'all know what brother it was. He says, he says, he says, the Bible says, in so much of anger, he slew his brother. So that lets me know that sometimes this thing, this thing called love can be extended, but I want us to know for a fact, whenever love is around, there is, Lord, have mercy, I'm talking to myself anymore. There's some evil around, too. You can say you love me, but I, I, I know, I know. Somebody say, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I love you, but then, 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 two minutes later. God have mercy. God have mercy. But nevertheless, I want you to understand, the Apostle John and, 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 and Peter was trying to say, Paul was trying to say that it was good to know that there is a light shining above all things, and that is love. The multiplicity of brotherly love in the New Testament teaches us how to supremely uh, important truth about our membership in the Christian community. Folk got to know we love one another. They don't know we love, love one another in here. How can we show it out there? Amen. Can't walk up to a brother after you got out. No, no offense. I can't walk up to a brother after I got out of church and I, I heard a good sermon and then the brother walk up to him and say, listen, brother, what was it about? I don't know. Oh, I'm I know I'm talking to myself this morning. But, but I'm, I'm trying to get the church to see that we got to create some things that will build our strength in loving one another. Amen. So God adapted us through his eternal and only son, begotten son, to let us know how we ought to love one another. It's important to know love is, is a factor. Not only extended, but love ought to be in our everyday lives. We ought to show love whether if the man is kind to us or not. We ought to show love whether the person like me or not. I ought to show love because God uh, first loved me. And why you say that, brother? Let me go back to the text for a moment. I want to share a verse, a few more scriptures with you. And then uh, this lesson is yours this morning. And that is, let your love show. It's time for us to show love in order for folk to receive us as the children of God. Amen. Because God, y'all do know God is love. Amen. There is no variance in it. If you say, oh, have mercy. If you, if you say you love God, then you ought to learn to love your brother. Right. Is that all right? Yes. Because if God has all of this in him, that means it's got to be passed on to the ones who are down here now, and that means that's us. Is that all right? And, 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 and John, St. John, if you had your Bible, St. John. Guess how much uh, God and his son know how to love one another. He did something for you and me that we couldn't do for ourselves. Is that all right? The Bible says in verse 14, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so much the Son of Man be lifted up. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That's why I'm preaching on it this morning. A lot of folks don't want to be saved, church, because they don't see enough love enough to make them think they want to be saved. That's about here this morning that feels that he may be able to come this morning. He may be able to recognize that I got to change my life. But if we don't show him love, he may walk back out the door saying, listen, they ain't show me nothing, so I'm just going to stay where I am. <laughs> Lord, I'm going to do what I did before I came in. So the change is in us. Because God said God so loved, if God loved the world, then can't we love 
each other? Can we love our neighbor? Your friend? You know, I, I was thinking as I put the lesson together. You know, some folk love their dog. Huh? That was the ending of that. <laughs> better be that. Thank you so much. They love their dog better than they love me. <laughs> now, no, no offense, church, but something wrong with that picture. Anytime a person gets hooked up into that, he work, he'll, he'll care more for his dog that can't even talk than me, his brother that he can see. What are you saying, brother? I'm just trying to paint a picture to the church. If folk are creating that much love for a dog, Oh, have mercy. Y'all oh, show a little love for me, don't you think? Yeah. If not, then, then the question becomes, why not? But I'll put it to you this way. John, uh, stay in John for a minute. Go to 13th chapter, John. 13th chapter. Here, here's Jesus. He putting, a, he, putting a, he putting a stamp on it for us. John uh, chapter 13, verse 30, 34 and, and, and 35. The Bible says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Verse 35. But this I say, all men will know that you are my disciple indeed, if ye have love one to another. Folk are watching us, church, whether we believe it or not. And if Jesus said that, they were watching him with his disciples. But Jesus said, listen, this is the, this is the new commandment. The old commandment. Y'all know what the old commandment was? And I thought I had. Two for two. You do me, I do you. That's the old commandment. You understand me? But God, Jesus said when he came on the scene, that I got a new one. What's the new one, preacher? The new one is, if you're if, 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 if hungry, feed him. If you're thirsty, brother Cox, give him drink. Matter of fact, I know this may not like sit well with all of us. Listen, but 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 if he hates you, love him anyway. anyway. Because it's the love of God that grows in us to let people know it's not about me, it's the love I have for God that has changed me. Once you're changed, church, I don't know about you, but once you change and this word get in it, it ought to be something else that involves in your going about doing what you're doing. And I'm just saying, let love show the way. God knows how to tell, tell us. He sent his son to die for us. Don't we know how to show God how much we love him? And then, and then the result of that is, now I learn to love my brother. One more verse. Of a scripture. Go to 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13 for a minute, if you will, church, and get a clear picture. Is that sometimes people say, you know what, if, 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 if he don't love me, then I ain't going to love him. And then if he don't show love to me, why should I show love to him? I know I'm talking to myself. But love is extended, it is an action on the part of the person. Who is giving the love. Not nothing to do with the person that they ain't receiving. Because some of us, you know what I'm saying, you know, we get in that mode. That it, it, you know, I walk by and say hi to you, but if they say hi to the Buford, then, they, then I'm upset. Wait a minute. I, I'm just showing love, no matter what it is. And then it's vice versa. If I didn't show, if you didn't, I didn't say hi to the Buford, then say hi to me. Oh, I'm talking. But I don't want the church to understand, so I know we're living in a time where things are happening, but I just think most of the time we can still show some love one toward another. Amen. Look at 1 Corinthians 13 chapter. Look, 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 look what Paul says now. Paul says, listen, though I speak with tongue of men and of angels and have not charity. Every time I say charity, church, I want you to understand that's love. Have not charity, I become as a single brass tinkling symbol. Though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could move mountains and have not love, I am. 
Lord have mercy. So knowledge don't get it. As Paul said, knowledge, knowledge ain't going to do it. Your faith will have somewhat to do it, but we got to have more than just faith. Then he says, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not love, it what? Profit. So we got to think about that, church. As we move forward in uh, 2021, and we only got a few more months in this year, we'll be starting next year. But it, wouldn't it be wonderful if to know that if love can show the way, I don't know what, I, I don't know what I'm going through. And I, whatever I'm going through, I know that if I got God on my side, I'm going to be able to sustain the love that I need. I like to talk to myself, but that's all right. But I, I want the church to know it's about time. For us to start laying aside some stuff, brother Cox. Show some love one to another. It won't hurt. Because I know sometimes it, 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 it surely don't hurt when folk all over the place telling all, all your business. Lord, have mercy. Let me help myself there more. I'm showing you all over the place showing, telling folk your business and mine. As long as it's on you, then that, that's good, brother Cox. Hey, right? We show God brother London. Well, okay, that's fine. But how did you get me? Did you get me with some hate or did you show me some love? Most of the time we show each other uh, 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 the opposite. And now it's time for us to get back to what God has created in us. And that's love. Amen. Is that all right, Chuck? See, he didn't just, he didn't, the Bible said he, uh, he didn't send his son down here to just to look. He sent his son down here to die. And so when he died, God then said, listen, son, whatever you say, then your, the people to be come behind your disciples and your apostles, they ought to do that. Are you willing to do that this morning? If not, let me finish. Verse 4. It says, uh, love suffers alone in its kind. Love envy not. Love prevail not itself. It is not puffed up. Waffles here, he gave a little long for you. Brother, I don't need to go long for you. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to get your church to understand. As we live in the world we live in today, it's going to take the church to kind of get us out of it. Because it's going to have to, we have to show the difference between what is being done and what we can do for them that need it. And that's how you, how you show that, Brother London, is that you got to take this love and use it to the best of God ability. And so you got to let folk know, I love you just because God loves me. I love you just because God loves me. Is that all right? Because if not, then we're, 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 we're just, right, right now, church, we're just going around and around. Because we're failing to understand. It ain't about you. It ain't about me. It's about the love we show for one another. And that's why Paul said, let love be without dissemination. Don't pretend that you love me. If you don't love me, Brother London would just have you to say, just come out and say it. Look, Brother London, I don't love you. And I, I, I respect that. Why you say that, preacher? Because then I know where you're coming from. But I don't know where Brother Buford coming from because he didn't say either. He didn't say I love you, didn't love you. <laughs> Messing with you, Brother Buford. But I want the church to understand. It is love. That lifted me. Yeah. When nothing else could help. <laughs> it was love. That lifted. Me. And if you hear this morning. And you want love to lift you. And you're not a member of the church of Christ. And you decide to say to yourself. You know what preacher. Maybe I have not been showing enough love. Well the opportunity is yours to show it. Today. And there's some of us in the body. That, that may be already in the body of Christ had not shown love. It's time for you to show some love. Now. Let, let, let's get away from who said what and why. Just show some love. But I'm talking to the one that ain't a member of the church of Christ. You know what I'm saying? I know that if, I said earlier, I know if a person can love a dog and give him his biscuit and love him, I know good and well today you can love the Lord. Amen. Is it all right? Yeah. Why you do that, preacher? I, I tell you what you do. If you really want to love the Lord, you got to obey the gospel. Yes, sir. It ain't hard to obey it, but I tell you what, once you get in it, you'll see how good God can be to you. Yes. How do you do that, Brother Leonard? Well, you got to obey it. 
You got to have faith in, in God. Is that all right? Romans 10 and 17, faith coming by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. You heard it this morning. You didn't hear all the details, but Paul just simply tells us, if you just let that love flow and be kind one to another, serve it in prayer, working with one another, then that too will have an effect on the person because now he sees that I'm not just coming there to just look at you or me. I'm coming there because I see some love going around. Then you got to believe that God is. Hebrews 11 and 6. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And they that come to God must believe that he is. Somebody this morning, you believe there's a God? I do. Amen. And if you believe Amen. that there's a God, then you'll obey it. Yes, sir. You just have to repent. That's the five-step plan. You got to repent. Luke 13 and 3. I tell you, nay, except you repent, you will likewise perish. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready to perish yes, yes, yet, church. And I'm not ready to leave this earth. So I'm going to do my best if whether... It's the day tomorrow. I'm going to do my best to do everything God called me to do as uh, your brother and as one of your ministers here to just show some love in spite of it. Because I, 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 want, I want to make sure that when my time is up, I just want to hear what Paul says. Well done. Thy faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up higher. And the fourth step of that, you've got to be a member is that you got to confess the sweetest name I say on this side of heaven. You got to know that God is who he is. He that confesses me before me, him will I confess before my Father which is in heaven. And you deny, then God has a chance at the end to deny you. Then you got to be buried in the world of grave of baptism. How many of us know the day we were baptized? Anybody can go back to that day we were baptized in the Lord? And how good that was? Excited. Come up out of that water. You I, I know I was. I was ready to do anything. Whatever it calls for me to do. Well, how many years ago that was, brother? About 23. Was well, you still trying to do it now? I sure am. 23 years later. Not about what folk think, but I, I'm, I'm still trying to do what God called me to do when I was baptized. Come up out of that water a new creature. 2 Corinthians. 5, 17. It says, if any man be in Christ, you can be in Christ this morning. Any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. And old things, and I, I want to specify, old things have passed away. What old thing, Brother London? The way, I, the way I was out there, you know, some of y'all <laughs> caught, me on the wrong, caught me on the wrong side of the street. I bet you called Brother London on the wrong side of the street. They tell him, Brother London, you... Uh, I'm not just talking about London. I'm not checks, but I'm just saying. Before I obeyed the gospel. Amen. But now I'm in Christ. You can catch me on any side of the street. And I'll just be so kind, so nice to you. Right. Why do you say that, uh, Brother London? Because God has given me the ability to keep doing what I'm doing in spite of what other folk think. Do you hear this more? All you got to do is just tell God how much you love him. And the only way you tell God how much you love him you got to let your love show by letting people know that I love God so much, I'm willing to love my sisters and brothers. If it's, if it's, love, that all, if it's love that all I need to do, then I need to need try how to best do that. And if someone is here not this morning, you, 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 you don't know Jesus, I ask that you come. Because it's a great start in your life that you can be able now to say to yourself, I have went from one point of the spectrum to the other. Now I have been doing wrong. <clears throat> now that I'm a member, I can learn to do right. Yes, sir. Yes, Is that all right? Yes, sir. It's because we only have one, uh, uh, whether we know it or not, church, we only got one chance at this thing. Right. With this pandemic, we only got one chance, church. We didn't know it was going to last that long, but it is. It's down now, but I'm saying we only got one chance now. You, somebody said it. They get it right. And believe me, after this, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, all, it's all done. And so why not do the best thing I can do now that God has given me the ability to do, and that is let my love show the way that people might see God in me.
Is that all right? It's too, it's, too, it's too late to try to call everybody in. It's too late to try to make an assumption of this and that. It's too late for that now. Because in the, in, the, in the midst, of, in the end of all of this, it's only going to be one thing said. Did you love me? And if you, if you didn't, and God going to say then, if he didn't love me, I know he didn't learn how to love his sister's <laughs> And brothers. The choice is yours this morning. Does somebody here need prayer? Somebody in the church need prayer? Does somebody all together need prayer? We'll pray for you. And we'll pray that God will give you the strength. Whatever it is. Somebody here this morning is going through something. I know some of us are, we, I, I'm learning now. But well, learning is retired now. But I'm learning now. Since I retired, I learned now. A lot of us, we just get in that mode that we just ain't going to come out of. And we, and we figure, well, it ain't going to work no kind of way. No, I got news for you. The prayers of the righteous avail it much. So we'll pray for you. Pray for your situation. Pray for you. Pray for your family. For those who need prayer. And see, don't God changes if you just let it. First of all, I want the church to get in their mind, say that where I'm going back to, let's just try, if before anything else, church, let's just try to love one another. Is that all right? That's the best thing we can do. Show love one toward another. Would that be your that be the case? I appreciate you listening. And as we stand and sing the Savior's in the tank, why don't you come? Why don't you come? Show let love show the way. And all my
We're now at the time where we partake of the Lord's Supper. This was instituted by our Savior on the night he was betrayed. Jesus says, do this in remembrance of me. It is our responsibility to remember the sacrifice that was made for us on Calvary. Jesus says this bread represents his body. This cup represents his shed blood in order to remind us of the tremendous sacrifice made on our behalf. Jesus loved us enough to die for our sins. We pray that you will take this bread and take this cup with that in mind. Let us go to God in prayer as we partake of the bread and the cup. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for blessing us with your son, Jesus. We thank you so much, Jesus, for showing us your love by giving your life to die for our sins. Father God, we pray that you would bless us as we partake of this bread and of this cup. Help us to always keep in memory the things that were done for our salvation. Lord, we pray that each and every one under the sound of my voice would remember the sacrifice Jesus made on Calvary. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You may now take the bread. And now the cup. It is also time now that we set aside to give back to the Lord. The Bible teaches us that God loves a cheerful giver. The Bible teaches us that the tenth belongs to the Lord. You may choose any number of ways to give in the collection, but uh, we want to let you know that you can go to our website www.mapoavcoc.org. Click on the online giving button and make your contribution electronically. Or if you choose, you may drop it in the mail, send it to the address on the screen, and when we receive it, we will post it as your collection. Or you may come to the building uh, anytime during the week or worship with us on Sunday and drop your collection off at that time. When you decide in your heart, the Bible says, as a man purpose in his heart, so let him give. That is the time that we give to our Lord. We pray that your giving will be pleasing in God's sight. God bless you. Together, I will bless the Lord at all times. He is your Today. I come to worship God today. 
Let's exalt his name. 